In the heart of New York City's Chinatown, a chance encounter with a well-dressed stranger takes a chilling turn when he introduces my girlfriend to his unsettling world of minions and desperation. As the night unfolds, an unexpected robbery unfolds before her eyes, raising questions about the dark underbelly of organized crime. This is a story of a seemingly harmless conversation turned harrowing encounter in the city that never sleeps. Two weeks ago, my girlfriend had a rather unsettling encounter in the bustling streets of Chinatown, New York City. She had been waiting in line at a convenience store with her friend when an imposing, well-dressed man approached them. His dapper appearance earned him compliments from her, particularly on his coat, which he mentioned must have been quite expensive. Graciously, she thanked him, and they engaged in casual conversation. As their chat continued, the man introduced himself as the wearer of a shabby Brooks Brothers suit, though it became evident that his attire contradicted his claim, as he flaunted an assortment of expensive jewelry. Upon learning that my girlfriend and her friend were students, the man made unwarranted assumptions about their wealth, suggesting that their parents were footing the bill for everything. Feeling increasingly uncomfortable, my girlfriend attempted to distance herself from the stranger. Nonetheless, he persisted, inquiring about their employment status, to which they replied that they were students. Oddly, without any prompting, he began detailing his livelihood, boasting about various odd jobs and claiming to provide shelter and sustenance to individuals he referred to as his minions, whom he recruited from the streets. He mentioned he was waiting to meet them that evening. The use of the term minions cast an eerie shadow over what had initially seemed like a harmless conversation. Then, to my girlfriend's surprise, the man disclosed that his wallet had recently been stolen and he urgently needed $400 for an unspecified reason. He assured them he would repay them later that week but insisted on the money that very night. Uncomfortable and alarmed, my girlfriend politely declined, finally making her way towards the store's exit, saying her farewells. Outside, she and her friend sat on a bench, attempting to process the bizarre interaction. Their unease deepened when they observed the man exit the store, stand about ten feet away, and wait for several minutes, intently staring at his phone. Eventually, he was joined by two other men, and they engaged in hushed conversation. Suddenly, the man in the expensive suit departed in one direction while the other two, brandishing knives, entered the store. Shocked and paralyzed, my girlfriend and her friend watched as the cashier raised her hands in submission and emptied the cash register. The two assailants swiftly fled the scene, following the path taken by the man in the suit. Stunned by the brazen robbery they had just witnessed, my girlfriend and her friend contemplated calling the police. To their surprise, they noticed that the cashier had already made the call. They waited on the bench as two police cars promptly arrived, then approached the officers to provide their eyewitness accounts, hoping to assist in identifying the culprits, including the enigmatic man they had met earlier. The disturbing turn of events left them wondering whether this was a common occurrence, raising questions about the potential involvement of organized crime elements who recruited vulnerable individuals to carry out criminal acts. The incident had turned a seemingly innocuous encounter into a harrowing experience, leaving them with lasting concerns about the hidden underbelly of the city they thought they knew.